Khadija, how old are you? I'm 28. Are you originally from Arizona? Yeah, I'm from Phoenix. What's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? I'm homeless. I'm out here. Yep. How long have you been on the streets for? Um, on and off. It's been quite a few years. Yeah. So I would say maybe. At what age did you start running the streets? I started running around in the streets really young, like preteen, teenager. Thought I was a badass. Thought I was cute. It's not cute. Preteen? Yeah. Yeah. Because I started. At, I started. At that age. I started using in junior high. So. And what about your parents, like mom and dad? Were oh, they, my parents were they are, man, my parents were right there. My parents are awesome, and they did everything to stop what was happening happening. I mean, it's it's like, a, it's sad, you know, like, and I admit it's heart, like, breaking, because my mom is my best friend, and I love her. I love her so much, and I love my dad, and they're so good to me, and they just, like, they love unconditionally. Um, what healthily, you know what I mean? There's healthy boundaries, and it, it's like I know it breaks my mom so so badly. You know, she's a she's a social worker. She's been a social worker. She's, you know, I mean, my mom across the board like this wonderful, amazing woman, and here she is out here trying to fix and save everybody else. But I know that it kills her because she can't save us. Are you still in contact with your parents? Sometimes. When's like the last time you spoke to them? Um, it's been a couple of weeks. I know, like it's 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 hard for all of us, and I'm a coward, so <laughs> yeah. So they know what's going on with you right now, that you're out here on the streets. I'm, I mean, yeah, I don't really like to tell them everything. I kind of maybe like to make it look way, way, way glossier and shit than it is. But my mom again, she's like been involved in this whole work and stuff she's she's no dummy she's no fool but yeah. uh like you know they've got my kids there and stuff so the the babies are the most important thing my nephews and my my boys and so as like again as much as like we love one another and everything and how wonderful they are uh there has to be healthy boundaries that we we both have to maintain because the kids come first always how many kids do you have i have three what are their ages a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a five-year-old. What does a nine-year-old say? Does, does is it a boy or a girl? I have all boys. They just, does, does they, they just, yeah. I'm, I'm real. We're realistic. We're honest. My family is, is, <laughs> we're honest to a fault. <laughs> like we don't, no secrets, no anything. Yeah, my kids all have their own therapists, and they all do. Like you know, I mean, we're doing the best we can to, to shield them while keeping it like honest i mean there's transparency as much transparency as possible i mean um there's healthy ways to keep your kids informed and not you know i mean keeping secrets and all that shit it doesn't do anything but hurt everybody so yeah. my kids know you know what i mean they, they know that mommy got sick and mommy took medicine mommy sees her doctor but sometimes mommy doesn't want to take her medicine sometimes mommy takes medicine that she shouldn't take or you know what I mean and they call the the bad pills you know and like uh just like they're working through it all with their therapists and stuff so so what are you doing out here to survive right now <laughs> I hustle <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah I'm not really like sur I guess it's like yeah I guess survive I survive <laughs> Like, is it a happy survival? Not really. Is it a healthy survival? Absolutely not. So why would you keep doing it? Like, there's really no logical answer, no good answer. Is it dangerous out here for a homeless woman? I almost died in June of last year. I got assaulted after being locked in a truck, thrown out of a truck, and then proceeded. the man proceeded to run me over. He turned his tire, his wheel, and he ran over me. I was in the hospital, and I had to go to a nursing home. I had to relearn how to walk. I walk with a limp now. So, yeah, it's Crazy. it's it's dangerous. It's nothing nice. Did you know him, or how did that happen? No, I was gonna honestly, I was gonna pee my pants, and I was trying to run to QT, and somebody pulled over, and he asked me if, uh, well, like, what's up? And I said I need to go to QT, and like, 
yes I asked for a ride he offered a ride and it like I got in there and he turned away from the road we were supposed to be on and I was like hey bro what are you doing and uh it just all went downhill from there and then I um right there on in Canto and 28th Avenue by the Shamrock Farms uh, I was just laid there bleeding out in the what middle of the night to the, to the guy to the su suspect they never found him. That's what they said. He never went to jail, nothing. Nothing. It's just it's crazy too because like I actually literally saw that guy literally a few months ago. He came out from behind a dumpster um, when I was cutting through a, a, a parking lot, and like he was like, "Hey, remember me?" And he like you know he called me outside of my name, whatever. And I don't know like what if we're supposed to cuss or not, but like. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, and then he's like, yeah, I remember you, and he, like, tried to lunge at me, and I fucking ran away like a little crybaby scaredy cat. <laughs> and, like, so I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know. Between Shamrock Farm security cameras, between the street lights and stoplights and everything, you'd think that something would happen, but no, nothing happened to him. So where are you sleeping at? At night, do you have a tent out here, or? No, what do you um, do? I mean, I, like, it's different when you're like a single female, you know, it's not, you can't just go to sleep wherever, it's not safe. Um, so, I mean, it w I try to like hustle up like um, hotel room money or like you can like, I mean, you can't really trust a lot of people, anybody really. So, I mean, but as much as you can possibly maybe like go in on a room together if you can or uh, sometimes like uh, if, 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 if there's there's some people that like I know that I'm I'm okay with uh, that you know I'll go to their tent or their hotel and crash theirs apartments there's actually a lot of as much as shitty people as there are out here there's a lot of decent people too I mean I've had people that I've just met out here who you know what I mean they just have let me shower and sleep at their house and no strings no anything and that's epic you know yeah that's nice if we have any younger viewers and they're watching this interview and they're thinking about running the streets or trying substances, what kind of advice would you give them? It's not funny. It's not fun. It's not cute. And these like these young girls, I met a girl who's 14 the other day. You know what I'm saying? She's lying about her age and everything. She's too scared to tell anybody. She ran away from her group home. And like these people, they, I mean, like, as much as like people out here like there's some solid people out here just as there is anywhere else and they're they but they think they're doing the right thing by helping her like lie about her age and stay safe out here but it's not safe it's not safer out here it's not better out here i've been assaulted so many times i got trafficked before i was drugged on my birthday two years ago and i woke up on my way across state lines i escaped from the guy in oregon in portland oregon and uh, that shit's not cute, it's not funny. These guys think they're gangsters, these young kids, and they wanna be cool. And uh, I, you know what I mean? I watched somebody get shot the other day of the block, and it's not, it's not funny, it's not cute. That man will never live another year. He will never see his kids. He will never do anything because he wanted to be cool and run the streets, it's not fun. Exactly. Addiction is not cute. It hurts my heart. All right, well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay with me sharing this on my YouTube channel? Absolutely. And just in case somebody wants to reach out to you with some sort of help or donations, do you have any contact information that you want to share, like an email or something like that? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Maybe I could leave something with you. I posted, I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah.